The main reason to visit Samra is for the amazing beach. The ocean floor here is flat, sandy and has a gradual slope. Playa Samra is protected by a reef which makes it a family friendly beach for all sorts of activities and very safe for people of all ages. With lots of jungle surrounding the area, you can find plenty of areas to hike, including the secret beach hike to Playa Esquerda, located between Playa Samra and Playa Buena Vista. You can also book daytime hiking tours for bird watching and views. Playa Barragona is nicknamed Mel Gibson's Beach because his property lines this specific beach. Playa Barragona is only a 25 minute drive from Samra and renting an ATV is definitely the most fun way to get there. Bring a cooler with lunch and drinks and enjoy the white sand, picturesque blue water and shade on the north end of the beach that is surrounded by palm trees. If you are new to surfing, then Playa Samra is the best place for you to take your first lesson. With the reef protected in the bay and the sandy ocean floor, you're in the best spot for your first surf. Samra has plenty of surf schools along the beach, and even if you are an experienced surfer, you will enjoy the waves at high tide. that a lot of people have with the palm trees sticking out over a white sand beach. Playa Carrillo is just like that exact beach. It's absolutely beautiful. It's rated one of the top beaches to visit in the world and is lined with white sand and palm trees from one end to the next. This beach is definitely one of the most favorite beaches for the local Costa Rican people from the city to come and enjoy a barbecue with their friends and family. Playa Carrillo is only a 10 minute drive from Samra if you're traveling without a car, then you can definitely rent an ATV or take a taxi and just set up a drop off and pick up time with your driver or the local bus from Samra runs every hour. Do you love to fish? then Samra is a great place for you to come and catch a mahi-mahi, yellowfin tuna, or marlin out in the chartered boat, or you can fish from shore with no license needed. Whichever way you choose is a great way to spend the day. Because of the warm water on the Pacific side of Costa Rica, dolphins love to call it home. You can book a half day tour with a company in Samra and see the dolphins in their natural habitat. Samra is also located outside of a humpback migration route which makes it a great place to whale watch. August to October is the best months to see the whales. The best way to explore Samra and the surrounding area is on an ATV. ATV tours are offered to different locations like lookouts, waterfalls and beaches. This is a must do activity to take in the Costa Rica landscape.
Samra has a wide variety of international cuisine, from local sodas serving traditional meals, Mexican restaurants with delicious food, well-crafted Italian, an Argentinian barbecue, and a great choice of beach restaurants, you'll be sure to satisfy any craving you have. And for an afternoon snack, be sure to stop and check out the local street food. Samara is also a great spot to book a turtle tour because there are plenty of turtle migration beaches nearby. The night tour is a favorite as you go with a guide to find the adult turtles coming ashore to lay hundreds of eggs. If you're here during the rainy season, then you may be fortunate enough to check out the Arabata, where thousands of turtles arrive to lay their eggs. You may also be on one of these beaches during the day and see a few baby turtles popping out of the sand and heading to the ocean. Belen Waterfall is only a 25 minute drive from Samra and has a relatively easy trail to walk down in order to get to the waterfall. It is best to visit in the drier months so that you can take advantage of swimming while you're visiting. In the rainy months, it is dangerous to swim in, so just bring a lunch and enjoy the sights and sounds of this amazing waterfall. Local horseback riding tours can be along the beach or into the hills and jungle. Either way, this is a great family activity. At the north end of Playa Samara at low tide, you will find tide pools where you can bring your own snorkel gear and explore for underwater creatures. There's tons to see. This is a very fun and inexpensive way to spend some time in the water. Samara Beach doesn't face west, but that doesn't mean you can't watch a beautiful sunset. If you want to see the sun set into the ocean, then you can head down to the south end of Playa Samara, the south end of Playa Carrillo, or even closer is the south end of Playa Buena Vista. There's a parking area you can drive to or walk to from Samara, or you can watch it from a mountain view up on one of the many roads that head into the hills. months of December until the end of April, most nights you will be able to watch live music while you enjoy a meal or just have some drinks. There are artists that come from all over the world, as well as local ones from Costa Rica, and if you're lucky enough, you can see Palo Santo play. get a bird's eye view of Playa Samra and the surrounding beaches, then book a trip on a gyrocopter. We personally have not done this adventure yet, but we have spoken to people that have and all they do is rave about it. Every year in high season, there are different groups of people that come to Samra and perform amazing fire shows along the beach restaurants or even in the street. If you stay out past sunset, there's a very good chance you'll be able to catch one of these talented shows and please remember to tip the performer as this is how they make their living.
So we hope you enjoyed this video of us showing just some of the things you can do in Samra. This isn't all of them. There is some other things that we haven't done yet, like zip lining, uh, mangrove kayaking, kayaking to the island in the bay and snorkeling over there. There is quite a few other things to do. This was just our list of 17 things that we've done and things that a lot of people do when they come to Samra. So definitely come and check out Samra and when you do, book with us here at Seacasa. Just go to www.seacasasamra.com and click on the links to get to our Airbnb links to see all the amenities we have here to offer at Seacasa, including a modern, bright, clean place to sleep with a very comfortable bed, all the cooking amenities you would need if you don't want to eat out every meal, including a barbecue, as well as Netflix on the TV and the whole list of things like that. So definitely come stay with us here at Seacasa to enjoy all of Samra. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do and also hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come out with new videos and we'll see you in the next one.